Good evening and welcome to the Financial Week. I'm Javon Keyes. Countries in the Caribbean adversely affected by Hurricane Beryl are set to benefit from a share of £500,000, which is about $100 million Jamaican dollars from the United Kingdom. The announcement was made on Friday and in a release, the newly minted British Foreign Secretary David Lammy says Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office FCDO rapid deployment teams have travelled to Jamaica and the Grenadine Island of Cariaco. 800 emergency shelter kits have also been sent to Grenada and St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Following a request from the Caribbean Development Emergency Management Agency, SEDEMA, the UK says it has also provided support for deployment of regional teams to assist the national disaster offices with emergency operations, relief and logistics management, telecommunications, security issues and sectoral assessments. Now, some local manufacturers are reeling from the after-effects of Hurricane Beryl. President of the Jamaica Manufacturers and Exporters Association, JMEA, Sidney Thwaites, says the main issue his members are reporting is the lack of electricity. He says while assessments are ongoing, manufacturers in Mandeville and St. Elizabeth appear to be the most affected. Some of our larger members who have redundancies on the power side resumed operations. The majority of our members are dependent on JPS returning to really to really get back to work. A lot of the members I've talked to kind of count themselves as lucky because impact was minor. Um, that's certainly not for everyone. It appears that there's a bigger impact to our agriculture and agro-processing members as our farmers were pretty impacted, especially in the St. Elizabeth region. He says in addition to light and power, his members say the transportation ecosystem also needs to be restored. If we can get the port operating again and JPS on stream in most of our manufacturers, as well as getting transportation back online and public transportation so that our employees can get to work more easily. I think those are the things that are going to move us forward. It has certainly given us an early lesson in the season on how to be resilient. And I know the lessons learned would have been individual to each of the businesses about their particular location and the risks but i'm sure that as a group we will help each other to look around the corners a little bit more so that the next time this happens our resiliency is just a little a little more advanced than it is now now we are speaking with our news center in an interview now let's head to some insurance related news motor vehicle insurance companies are bracing for increased claims after the passage of hurricane Beryl. insurance sales agent kadeem henry says during the hurricane season some types of claims are more common water damage as well as windscreen um, damage so it's like trees falling on cars is also some of the more extreme light posts falling down you need to so you want to ensure that you trim up the trees if you don't have any covered parking and you are someone who park your vehicle in say a community parking area or just outside of your home you want to ensure that you assess the environment if there are any trees close to it you need to trim down those trees don't park your vehicle close to light posts light wires stuff like that some sound tips there as the hurricane season progresses. Now let's head to the markets. The JSE index declined by 1,250 points, while the junior market index fell by 19 points. Among the 34 winners were JMB Group 9.5% shares, Cygnus Credit Investments, Jamaican Dollar Ordinary Shares, Nutsford Express Services, JMB Group 7.15% Cumulative Redeemable Preference Shares, and Blue Power Group. The 30 losers included The Lab, Lasco Financial Services, Jamaica Stock Exchange, Cygnus Real Estate Financial Jamaican Dollar Shares and Edufocal. 25 stocks ended the session selling at the same price they started trading. And to the foreign currency market, trading ended today with banks and Cambio selling the US dollar for an average $157.25. $121.72 is the average value of the, of the Canadian dollar, $200.45 for the pound, while the euro is trading for an average $171.99. And that's the Financial Week. I'm Javon Keyes. Good evening.